love a good patio opening intro. Uh, it is 6.05. We woke up at like 4, 4.20. I think I timed everything pretty well as far as naps and food getting here during the transit so that like when we got here, got checked in, walked around a bit, hit the 7-Eleven of course, and then boom, was tired. I'm just, I'm just anxious. We're here, we're in Tokyo. I'd shoot with my regular camera right now, but try and get this time lapse of the sunrise coming up. And testing out DJ and Mike. A lot of a lot of things going on, but I might might vlog just from the phone today. I don't know. I haven't decided. This is incredible. This is this is this is definitely a place I've been wanting to come for a long time. I mean, I, I came when I was three, but it doesn't really count. I've been to other places in Asia, but this one has been on the books, and I, I can't believe we're actually here. I can't believe when we checked in for the flights. I can't believe that those flights existed. Like, okay, we didn't. They, they they're real. We have flights given to us, and then checking in the hotel. Oh, no problem. Yeah, we're all ready to see. I'm like, oh my goodness, this it actually. Actually, all happened. We'll do a little bit of room tours and stuff like that when we have a little bit more time. We're up here on the 12th floor looking over the beautiful garden. Our room is great. The hotel is great. We are going to get ready here and then hit up the breakfast that's provided. It's supposed to, well, there's, like, apparently there's two places for breakfast. We're going to see one today, the other one tomorrow, see which one we like best. Maybe we'll just, you know, toggle back and forth the whole time. Let's get ready. Okay, breakfast is done. We're gonna start roaming. It's rainy today. We planned on it being rainy. I and mean, we're taking a different exit out of our hotel through part of the garden. We can see our room here. Let's see, spin around, Let's see some things. But we're gonna start heading to the station and toward the Ginza area. Well, we thought the garden would take us out, but we are in another hotel, part of this complex. We finally exited. <laughs> it took a while. We're out of there. We're out of there. Heading to Shinagawa Station here. Check this out. We're gonna go up this thing, over, and... Oh, a train! First daytime train station. We're here at Tokyo Station. It is... Busy. Now we know that nine o'clock is it. Oh. <laughs> this is also a large shopping mall, which we'll explore at some point, but we're headed to the Imperial Palace. Gotta figure out how. Uh, we made it. The Imperial Palace here. I don't think we can go in. And we didn't buy a tour just because it was gonna be a few hours. So we're just gonna walk around the grounds and head back to the Ginza area, just cause it's like raining and stuff, but not bad. Beautiful day. Here's the deal, it's raining, but we don't mind rainy vacations because we have gear and everything is, you know, wide open. We have the whole place to ourselves. We did this, uh, where else did it rain that time? I think we did it the second time. <laughs> the second time in Los Angeles. So yeah, we're heading up to, uh, oh, there's a whole bunch of people there for the tour. All right, I might have misspoken. Or I thought we were at the uh, Imperial Palace. And I think now we're in the Imperial Palace grounds. <laughs> that earlier one, that's just the Starbucks location. That was the Starbucks. Well, we decided we could do the Imperial Palace tour anytime, so we're gonna head back to Tokyo Station while it's raining and uh, walk around, but we found this little underground pathway, so we're gonna try it. <laughs> I gotta look over here, huh? The camera's there, not here. Okay. Okay, we're just wandering, but we finally found our first vending machine. So uh, we're gonna give this a try and get some coffee. Okay, I'll get an espresso or something. It's warm. Surprisingly hot. Like, way warmer than I expected. <laughs> we got an espresso. Okay, we're taking a break. Uh, we're under the train tracks into this little crossing here, but we found our first vending machine. So we're gonna do a little taste of it. These are warm. See? The thing is, you can't eat and drink just anywhere. You have to find locations where you can eat. Got the espresso. <laughs> okay, we're gonna start walking around. There's all these pocket restaurants here under the train tracks, but all of them are closed because we're up so early.
Update, <laughs> we've been walking a lot. So uh, we decided to take a quick break. We wanted to go to the Uniqlo store, but they don't open until 11. And since there we- are, line yeah, There was a line out the door <laughs> to get, rid of, get there. Uh, we went across the street trying to find somewhere we could just sit down, have a beverage, and just rest our feet because we've been rolling. Definitely not Japanese, but we're here at <laughs> Italy, so that's fine. That was the only place open at the time. Okay, that was a nice break. We got some uh, drinks and food. Next, uh, we're gonna stop by the Uniqlo store. I don't know if we're gonna fully shop because we're kind of tired, but our goal is to, oh, escalator, just browse through their big flagship store. It's one of my favorite stores in the world. Gotta check it out. Gotta check it out. And then I think we're gonna head back to the area under the train tracks where there's a million different bars and restaurants and just kind of mosey around and find some ramen just for some soup because it's all cold and rainy. We don't need to go all the way back to Tokyo Station. I think we'll find something cool. But trying to keep it a little bit easy because we're beat. I'm beat. We gotta stay up till at least eight. So we don't, we can push through this uh, time change. Jet lag. Okay, here we go, figure out how to get out of here. We're about to leave the G6 shopping district. The thing is, when you bring in an umbrella, you have to stop by these kiosks and put it in a bag so you don't drip water everywhere. Okay, I was waiting to do a little bit of an update. The Unico flagship store is wonderful. It is just overwhelming and crowded. So I got one shirt and we bounced out. Headed back over to the uh, train station area, trying to find a ramen spot just for some soup and stuff. But we popped into a gyoza spot instead. Just a little pocket restaurant underneath the train station. Perfect. This is perfect. This is exactly. Not exactly what I wanted to do. I wanted to hit all these small little places. We're actually looking for ramen, actually. Because the hot soup and, you know, it's rainy, but this works. Vlog time. Couldn't hit it. Uh, that was the perfect restaurant ever. We're gonna fill this exactly. We're tired. We're gonna head back to our area and just explore Shinagawa. So we took the train quick and uh, we're gonna head to the hotel quick and uh, reset. Get a little break. Get yeah, a little break. It's only like 2 o'clock. We've been up for like 9 hours. Yeah, we can do a vlog update. <laughs> so our plans have, uh, our plans dramatically changed and that was the whole point of today was to figure out how the rest of the itinerary would work and we got pretty wiped out, but everything worked out really perfectly. We got to see a bunch of stuff. We got a little tired and so we had some foods and drinks and started coming back, explored some lounges around here. And for dinner, we were looking at stopping by the conveyor belt spot. You know, with the pouring rain, it was, it was more of a decision to like stay in and just relax. And so 7-Eleven run, of course. All of this was the same price as one beverage. All of this. Chicken and egg. I forgot what that is. Butter chicken curry noodle box. UFO noodle box. And red fried chicken. Don't know what the red is. Forget about this. Don't forget about this. There was another tonkatsu I was gonna grab, but the other guy grabbed it first. Yeah, first. It's fine. Mm -hmm. 